Hello, nieces and nieces. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I. I am her, and you have arrived to Nisa's Nation. And over here, we do mainly things, fragrances, whether it is body or home. But today, we are here to talk about fragrances, you guys. So, let's just get right into it. I'm here. I want to talk about bun number nine. I am not doing a fragrance review or fragrance haul. What I am going to talk to you today about are bun number nine fragrances that I either want to give a second chance or I want to do another buy. So I've either owned these in some capacity and I took them back because I wasn't really vibing with it or I had them, used them up, they were good, and I need to repurchase. So um, over the time that I've been with Bond, I have accumulated a very vast collection and this is not it because I don't hoard things. Although I may collect things from time to time, but I would rather put a smile on someone else's face. So I have had hundreds of these things over time. So I don't think I have every bun in here, but I have quite a few in here. So I try to hold on to the ones that I don't have full size bottle of, or I'm just not feeling right now. So you get these when you purchase at the bun counter in Saks, they sell it at Saks here in my in my town, and they sell it at one of the luxury boutiques. So it's only two retailers here that sells um, bun in my town, two retailers that I trust. Um, or you can order them from offline. Now, when you order them offline, like from Saks or um, Neiman Marcus or someone like that, you don't get the little bun bun samples you only get the samples you get to select three samples when you make a purchase on the bun number nine site however if you have a really good essay and through the years i have had some beautiful remarkable ladies and even the one now she's not as giving she shares a lot with me don't get me wrong but i had one in the past god bless her and her rotator cuff because she had an injury on her rotator cuff but this lady was phenomenal i don't know how we vibed how we mixed but she was very fond of me and i was of her and she really blessed me through the years so i keep my buns in this container but today we are going to talk about some buns that i want to repurchase or i want to give a second chance I'm sorry from there so the first one is lexington avenue all right, so this is Lexington Avenue, and this is an older sample because I don't think they're featuring Andy Warhol. You know, Andy Warhol, he's a famous, um, iconic artist, and um, I don't think they're featuring him on the Lexington Square anymore, but they featured him for several years, and um, they had some really beautiful bottles. This particular bottle is the one that had the shoes, I think. It was like black, and it had the shoes on it. But you can tell how old this is, you guys, because this does not have the itemizer on it. Before the itemizers came out, they came just in regular um, little um, valves like this. And that's what you got. So, But they still came wrapped the same way. So this is Lexington Avenue. It's the Andy Warhol Lexington Avenue. So I'm going to have to blot that on my little fragrance strip. And also, um, this is supposed to be the bun number nine that Beyonce was favorable to. Mm. All right, so let's have a discussion about this. Lexington Avenue. Wearing bun number nine, Lexington Avenue will turn a woman's walk into a sinuous glide. The scent is a floral woody, cypress with highly coveted contemporary gourmand notes now you guys when i first smelled this and experienced this i just could not vibe with it for some reason it was giving me an aftershave note like old spice or something i just could not get with it at that particular time so let's the fragrance notes are blue cypress fennel roasted almonds pink peony creme brulee, and sandalwood. This is a very unique scent, you guys. It is a scent of its own. But like I said, when I initially 
sampled and experienced this, it it just did not hit that spot. But for some reason now, maybe my nose palette has changed or it has matured. I'm kind of like feeling this. So I think I have this sample and another sample. So these are some fragrances that I will potentially be wearing to see how well they perform on my skin. But this is the Andy Warhol Lexington Avenue. And um, the Lexington Avenue that is currently on the site now, I don't think the ingredients or anything changed. I just think that there was a feature of this um, iconic artist. And just out of curiosity, if you were curious, um, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think if I'm remembering right, when I researched this years ago, I was trying to figure out what did he have to do? I know that he was like the pop art. He's like the father behind the pop art. He was a film director. He was an artist and all this. But what was his connection to Lexington Avenue? And I think he had an apartment or something on Lexington Avenue. So that's the Lexington Avenue, the Andy Warhol edition. And the new one and the old one, it is the same. Why they retired the feature of Andy Warhol, I don't know. All right, so let's just move on into the next one. The next fragrance is one that I have had the luxury of owning and used it up to its entirety. And it is Astro Place, all right? Isn't she pretty? All right, so this is Astro Place. All right, so according to Bun, the inspiration and the description of Astral Place, our mesmerizing Ed de Parfum, inspired by New York's most vibrant arts and style, intersection, the scent, and intoxicatingly fresh spring floral. Now, I don't agree with the spring part. I mean, I guess if you want to wear it in spring, you can. But to me, Astral Place... When I wore it, I wore it year round. So the fragrance notes in Astral Place are Violet Leaf, Mandarin Zest, Freesia, Red Poppy, Buds, Oris, Iris Root, Teakwood, Musk, and Amber. And this fragrance is um, a unisex fragrance and it was released in 20, 20, um, 09, 2009. All right, so this is a newer itemizer here. And it is the spray. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, this is good. Although it says to only have mandarin in it, this gives me like it has some other fruity notes in it. I can see why one or why they would say it's more um, feasible for the springtime, but that teak wood and that amber in here, I think that's what makes me or made me wear it around seasons. This is really good. This was one of my favorite bun. All right, so never mind that, well, respect it, but. Like I said, wear what you want to wear. It said that it was a spring floor. I get that. I can see why they say it's a spring floor because it's just a very pretty, fruity, airy-like fragrance in my opinion. But the teak wood and the amber, it is making its presence known. And you know, amber is one of those fragrance woody notes that it can go across the year. I think that it is befitting for any climate any season that's just me this is so pretty it's so good the only thing that i would have a problem with with astral place is if i went and over sprayed it it was like you would get that fermented old whiny smell to it like some were fermenting fruits to make some wine sometimes you would pick that up if you over sprayed it so if you ever get this, you can go light on it. And it does wear all day. All right. So the next one 
is Fireside. Now, I also had the luxury of owning this, but she did not stay in my collection. So the inspiration or the description of Fireside is the scent of bronzing. Certified New York Sunkiss Skin. The quintessential male female beach and suntan scent to wear all summer or to summons up the scent of musky. Sun bacon skin. The notes are cardamom, neroli, white musk, tuberose, and patchouli. Now when I first got this, my essay talked me into getting it. At that time, she said that it was really popular and she felt like I would like it. I bought it, brought it home, but she didn't stay. And as you can see, this is an old vowel as well. This is one of my older bun buns. So, I'm going to just take my scent stick. And do this. All right, this is definitely a summer scent. Definitely a very perfumey suntan lotion fragrance. Definitely, it does not give you a coconut vibe at all. The potent note in here notes are the neroli and the tuberose. However, the combination of those two florals. I think, and the patchouli, that's what really gives you that summer vibe smell. This is definitely a summer fragrance. This is just a warm, hot, sexy night. This, 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 this is what Fireside is. And like I said, you have to have the right nose. And I do believe that it has to wear and mix well with your body chemistry. Because that's the problem that I had. Smelling it in store and on card and even walking around in the store with it. I was cool, but once I got it home and I wore it a couple of days later, it was just not for me. I think it ended up giving me a headache or something. At that time, I was just not vibing with the fireside. And this was very early in my bun history. So maybe I was not used to the complexity of the scent notes that they put into their fragrances that was way different from the norm of what you know i had experienced just wearing designer perfumes but now that i'm a little i'm experienced i would possibly give this a try so um this is another one that i will be wearing and sampling to see how it goes with my body chemistry so this is fireside fireside is unisex and it was Release 2006, right? The next one, the next one is one that I really like. I just never owned it. And um, I'll talk about why. All right, so the next one is Bleecker Street. Bleecker Street was also featured in my top five male fragrances. Okay, so according to Bun, the inspiration behind Bleecker Street is art, fashion, seduction, and desert in liquid form. A warm and sensuous aphrodisiac that glides from day into evenings. That, that's a really good description. I like that. All right, so the fragrance notes are violet leaf, fakis, jasmine, cinnamon, Oat moss, patchouli, vanilla, and caramel. So this glides from daytime to evening. So this is Bleecker Street. All right, so this is a newer one. It has an itemizer on it. Now, the reason that I never press the button or swipe the card for or requested Bleecker Street it's because it gave me a very masculine edge. And it still gives me a very masculine edge. Bleecker Street is one of their older fragrances. It was created and it was released in 2005. And it is unisex. But you gotta be 
you got to know what you're doing. Well, I have to know what I'm doing when I'm trying to pull off a male-dominated fragrance. This is definitely more so for a male. You definitely get that violet. The jasmine in here is giving you a very fresh, airy note as well as the oak moss. The cinnamon is giving you that spice as well as the patchouli. But I never picked up a caramel note. And that's why I'm giving it a second chance. So I can be cognizant of what I'm wearing, the fragrance notes, and what I'm expecting or what I'm trying to discover or get out of the fragrance. So Bleecker Street is another fragrance from Bella Number 9 that I want to give a second chance. The next one is one that I have tried to just make myself like. This was gifted to me from Bun Number no. 9. They used to do the um, the fragrance club. And when you purchase a fragrance from Bun Number no. 9, inside it's a card. And you have to fill the card out. And they'll put you on a rotating mailing list. And I would get these free per size fragrances. All right, so the next fragrance, you guys. I wanted to vibe and like this so badly because of the name. The name itself I just really like it. But the fragrance name is Perfumista Avenue. Now, Perfumista Avenue was released in 2013. And um, this is more of a female fragrance. But according to Bond, the inspiration... First, New York fantasy neighborhood. Fancy neighborhood. And a perfumer's dream come true to celebrate our 10th year anniversary. So, they have been in business 10 years at the point that it was released. High upgrade, leather teen, intoxication, the ultra feminine rose, accompanied by sultry and seductive partner notes. The fragrance notes in Perfumista are Davina, Nutmeg, Saffron, Red Plum, Rose Oil, Rose Water, Peonies, Jasmine, Patchouli, Sensual Musk, Martin Amber, and Mate. All right. I don't know what Mate is. I've never heard of that fragrance note. All right. So, this is definitely a rose scent. And I think that's why I just didn't gravitate to it as you can see i tried over and over again because i have used quite a bit of this and i've had this probably since 2013 <laughs> maybe a little after i'm not sure but it's very rosy so if you are a rose girl and you are into the potent roses and I'm growing. Roses are growing on me. But I want to think that it's the saffron in here along with the peonies that it could be headache inducing as well as the patchouli if it doesn't agree with you. It's a pretty fragrance and it's, it's a very bright, vibrant. I mean, it has a very strong sillage on it fragrance but the thing that's really throwing me off is the rose now like i said rose is really growing on me i am really becoming fond of rose this to me is almost like a mild version of rose prick and rose prick can be very overbearing i'm like just blast off nuclear if it's applied if it's applied too heavily but i think with wearing and experiencing this and the trial of giving it a second chance i'm going to be very cautious of how much i spray on so this is the perfume nista by bun number nine and we have one more this candle if you're new here i sniff this because coffee is supposed to clear the nose palate and um this is paris cafe so it helps the next one is one that um it's a beautiful bottle i actually had it 
it was purchased for me by my husband. He brought it um, home. I played with it, really didn't care for it. I took it back and I got New Bond Street. And um, New Bond Street is this one over here with the leopard on it. But initially I had the New York Knights. So let's talk about New York Knights. According to Vaughn, the inspiration behind New York Nights is its incandescence, its luminescence, its New York Nights, Bond number no. nine celebration of Manhattan's evening sky line, ablaze with a riot of colors. The notes are jasmine, gardenia, carnation, patchouli, sandalwood, mandarin accord, coffee, and caramel. Oh, all right. So when I initially requested this, I was wanting a gourmand fragrance. At that time, I was like, okay, I need more gourmand fragrance. And I was looking for fragrances with caramel in it. And this had caramel in it. So hubby bought it. He obliged my request. He bought it, brought it home. I played with it for a while but it just didn't vibe. So I took it back and I ended up getting New Bond Street, which is also one of Bond's quote unquote um, gourmand fragrances. But this fragrance, you know how sometimes lipstick has this distinct, unique, like chalky, like art supply smell? It's something in this that gives me that. I don't know what it is, but I'm getting the same vibe that I got couple of years ago when I first smelled this. I don't know if it's the carnations because I'm not that familiar with how carnations smell in isolation. I don't know if it's the carnation and or the gardenia mixed with the patchouli. I can't really put my finger on what it is, but it's different. I do pick up the caramel notes in it and I get a little of the coffee, but it's something in this fragrance that's throwing it off for me. But um, like I said, these are fragrances that I want to give a second chance. So I will definitely be wearing this on the skin and on my clothes, wearing it, experiencing it throughout the day to see if it's worthy of having a second chance. So again, thank you guys for all you do to support the channel. If you have any recommendations of bun fragrances that I should try, if I have not already featured them, or if you have any questions about buns that I may could answer or um, kind of like steer you in the right direction with what you may want. So there are still various buns that I have not experienced and um, it just takes some time, you guys. So I want to thank you again for coming back to the channel and do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.